Battle of the Brains, presented by Virginia 529, Central Virginia's ultimate high school academic quiz show. Today's match features Monaghan High School versus Menchville High School. Let the battle begin. Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us for Battle of the Brains, our 21st season of producing Central Virginia's only high school academic quiz show. I'm Cheryl Miller. Our competition welcomes teams from schools all across the Commonwealth of Virginia. Our academic athletes joining us today, the Chiefs of Monacan High School, coached by Cameron Fisk and Sean Hollingshead. Monacan High School is a public school in Chesterfield County, which is a suburb of Richmond. The school has an enrollment of nearly 1,600 students. It houses the Center for the Humanities, which includes a rigorous cur curriculum and concludes with an advanced studies diploma. Also with us today, the Monarchs of Menchville High School, coached by Hannah Park and Brandon Trainer. Menchville High School is a public high school in Newport News. Enrollment includes grades 9 through 12. The fully accredited school is a winner of the National Blue Ribbon School Award. And it's great to have all of these students here with us today. Our match will consist of three toss-up rounds and a category round. Players will buzz in and wait for me to call on them before answering a question. Any interruption of questions with an incorrect answer will result in a point deduction, though there is no deduction for an incorrect answer to a completed question. All right, students, welcome. Let's start the first toss-up round. The Gulf of Aqaba is at the head of what long, narrow sea located between Africa and the Arabian Peninsula? Alex. The Red, sea. the Red Sea is correct. What are the two primary nutrients that affect water quality? <coughs> Isabel. My pH and salinity. That is incorrect. It's nitrogen and phosphorus. What was the only one of the 13 colonies, original colonies, to be established in the 18th century? Alex. Georgia. Correct. In 1732. What term refers to the amount of information or data that can be transmitted or processed either wirelessly or across a hardwire connection? Sebastian. Bandwidth. Correct. Portrayed by Hugh Jackman in the movie The Greatest Showman, this man was a famous 19th century promoter and businessman. Name this man eventually who merged his circus with the Ringling Brothers. Elizabeth. P.T. Barnum. That is correct. What is the English translation of the Virginia state motto, Sic Semper Tyrannus? Jarrett. Death to tyrants. That is incorrect. Monica. Alex. Down with the tyrants. It's thus always to tyrants. Which of the Great Lakes lies wholly within the United States? Alex. Lake Michigan. That is correct. Identify the holiday song that includes the lines, city sidewalks, busy sidewalks, dressed in holiday style. In the air, there's a feeling of Christmas. Silver, be oh, silver bells. Silver bells is correct. CDC are the initials of what prominent health agency? Sebastian. Center for Disease Control. That is incorrect. Monacan, Alex. Commission for Disease Control. It's actually the Centers, plural, for Disease Control and Prevention. Pythagorean triples are sets of three positive integers, which can be the sides of a right triangle. Some Pythagorean triples are classified as primitive. What makes a Pythagorean triple primitive? Amanda. The angle. That is incorrect. Menchville? Elizabeth? The numbers being prime? That is incorrect as well. The three integers have no common integral factors other than the number one. It was based on the play Everybody Comes to Rick's. Name the classic 1942 film in which Ingrid Bergman has to choose between a resistance leader played by Paul Henry and a cynical restaurateur played by Humphrey Bogart. Jarrett. Casablanca. Correct. And all right, teams, watch the screen, listen carefully. Here is a Virginia-based video question from a member of the Battle of the Brains Brainy Bunch, and you must wait until the question is completed before buzzing in. Among the works at VMFA are stained glass and decorative objects by what artist who is perhaps most famous for his brilliantly bright glass lampshades? And that would be Lewis Comfort Tiffany. Mm. 
Passing algebra is a prerequisite for taking calculus. St spell prerequisite. Sophia. P R E R E Q U I S I T E. And that is correct. Prerequisite. The early 1960s civil rights sit in movement began at a Woolworth store in what city? Miranda. Montgomery. That is incorrect. Menchville. Sebastian. Uh, Georgia. It was in Greensboro, North Carolina. The actual <laughs> counter itself is now housed at the Smithsonian Institution. All right, a good job by our team so far. Up next, we'll meet today's players, and then they'll take on the category round when Battle of the Brains continues. Stay right here. Battle of the Brains is always available. Find full episodes on YouTube and follow along with Battle of the Brains on social media. Welcome back to Battle of the Brains. And here are the scores following the first toss-up round here on Battle of the Brains. Our team from Monacan High School with 50 points, our team from Menchville High School with 40 points, and our judges are giving them the extra points for the answer of prime to that question for the Pythagorean triples. So that is the score adjustment for us there. We'll get back to our match just ahead, but first we want to introduce you to today's players. We'll start with our team from Monacan High School, coached by Cameron Fisk and Sean Hollingshead. First up is Carter Davis. Carter is a senior who a member of the Monacan Center for the Humanities, as is all members of our team today. He plays soccer and runs cross country and indoor track and wants to major in computer science in college. Our next player is Sophia Burgess, who is a senior. She's a, a varsity rower on the River City crew team, an avid reader and loves to ride her bicycle. Our team captain for the Monacan High School team is Alex Kunapas, who is a senior. He's a member of the swim team and is interested in studying physical and occupational therapy. And wrapping up our team is Miranda Wynn, who is a senior. She's on the varsity tennis and dance teams and plans to study history and public health in college. A big welcome to our team from Monacan High School. Now let's meet our team from Menchville High School. They are the Monarchs. Their coaches are Hannah Park and Brandon Trainer. First up is Jarrett Stevens. Jarrett's a senior who admires all things fantasy, loves to play Dungeons and Dragons, enjoys studying culture, and uh, hopes to specialize in international relations. Our team captain is Elizabeth McElfresh, who is a senior, is a deputy group commander of the Menchville Air Force JROTC, is a member of the cross country team, track team, and project inclusion team, and enjoys crocheting in her free time. Our next player is Isabel Dreyer, who is a junior, who plays tennis, enjoys cooking and baking. I asked her a favorite. She said she likes to make macarons, which is great. And wrapping up the team is Sebastian Arsenault, who is a junior, is one of the top 10 archers in Virginia, is a member of the International Thespian Society, is a decorated actor of six years, and enjoys skateboarding. And that is our team from Menchville High School. Great to have all of these students here with us today. Now it's time for them to tackle the category round, where they will select a 10 question category from today's choices and if a team gets all of its questions correct in the allotted time they'll receive a 20 point bonus all right teams take a look here at today's categories from which you may choose they are bird names u words and vehicle brands and we do note that in this round only the captains can officially answer for the team though they may confer with their teammates to try to come up with correct answers there is no deferring the captain must answer by the rules, the high score team gets first choice of category. So that is our team from Monacan High School. So Alex, if you would quickly talk it over with your teammates and let me know what category you would like to play. We'd like to take vehicle brands. All right. Given the name of the model, name the automaker that produces it. The first is Mustang. Ford. Correct. Cherokee. Jeep. Correct. Suburban. Chevy. Correct. Accord. Honda. Correct. 911. Porsche. Correct. Outback. Subaru. Correct. Corvette. Uh, the Corvette or Chevrolet. Chevrolet. RAV4. Toyota. Correct. Jetta. Volkswagen. Correct. And finally, Explorer. Ford. And that is correct. And a sweep of the category and a 20-point bonus for Monacan High School. Good job on that category. All right, Menchville, you got your work cut out for you. Bird names or U words. Elizabeth, what would you and your team like to play? U words, please. All right, from the definitions, give these words whose only vowels are the letter U. 
The first one is a dress worn by ballerinas. Tutu is correct. A cloud with a flat base and a fluffy appearance. Cumulus? Correct, cumulus. A loose Hawaiian dress. Pass, please. That would be a moo moo. Exclamation favored by Ebenezer Scrooge. Humbug. Humbug is correct. Result of exposure to too much UV radiation. Burn? I need you to be sunburn. We'll accept that. Sunburn, yes. To take by force as in a throne. Usurp. 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 Usurp is correct. An excess supply of a good. Surplus? Surplus is correct. The support on which a lever pivots. Fulcrum. Correct. Invasive vine in the southern U.S. Hudsu. Correct. And finally, a dip made from chickpeas. And that is correct. Good job on that category. All right, you only missed one. Good job by both of our teams in the category round. Up next, they'll take on another toss-up round here on Battle of the Brains. Miss a week of Battle of the Brains? Or want to catch up on a full season of Battle Gameplay? Find full episodes on our YouTube channel. Welcome back to Battle of the Brains. And here are the scores following the category round here on Battle of the Brains. Our team from Monacan High School with 120 points. Our team from Menchville High School with 85 points. And now it's back to Battle of the Brains and another toss-up round. And a reminder to our teams, you will lose points if you interrupt a question with an incorrect answer. The other team will then get a chance to answer the question. And there's no conferring in the toss-up rounds. All right, here we go. Often considered one of the greatest national leaders of the 20th century, his name meant Great Soul. Name this leader of the Indian Nationalist Movement who was assassinated in Delhi on January 30th, 1948. Alex. Gandhi. Gandhi is correct. Mohandas Gandhi. What is the general term for a soldier serving for pay? Alex. Mercenary. Correct. In baseball, where do pitchers warm up during a game? Alex. Bullpen. Correct. What type of number is the sum of a real and an imaginary number? Isabel. Complex. Correct. The largest tree in the world is a giant sequoia in California that shares its name with which Civil War general who led a famous march from Atlanta to the sea? Jared. Young. That is incorrect. Monikin? Or Alex? William Tecumseh Sherman. That is correct. In English grammar, what is the term to indicate a greater separation of thought and information than a comma, but less than the separation that a period implies? Alex. Semicolon. Correct. What type of cable has largely replaced copper wire for transmitting information over distances? Alex. Fiber optic. Correct. In 1895, he rescued the United States when it ran short of gold, and in 1901, he put together the world's first billion-dollar corporation, United States Steel. Who was this leading capitalist, Alex? Andrew Carnegie. That is incorrect. Who was this leading capitalist of the Gilded Age, Menchville? Jarrett? Vanderbilt. It was actually John Pierpont or J.P. Morgan. A cartographer makes what type of item? Alex. Map. A map is correct. What two numbers are typically used in a binary system? Jarrett. Zero and one. Correct. In physics, what is the term for the transfer of heat by the actual transfer of matter? Sebastian. Energy. That is incorrect. Monikin? Uh, conduction. That is correct, Carter, and don't forget to buzz in, oh. okay? <laughs> in 1962, what African-American man made history when after a lengthy legal battle, he was admitted to and later graduated from the racially segregated University of Mississippi? That would be James Meredith. This prosperous land has universal health care, no unemployment, no poverty, and no violence. So it's a shame it really doesn't exist. Name this idyllic land. Miranda. Utopia. That is correct. Described in a book by Sir Thomas More. In the annals of Arthurian legend, who was Morgan Le Fay? 
Jarrett. Arthur's half-sister? That is correct. All right, teams, watch the screen and listen carefully. Here's another Virginia-based video question from a member of the Battle of the Brains Brainy Bunch. And again, you must wait until the question is completed before buzzing in. The three biggest railroad centers in the antebellum South were Atlanta, Chattanooga, and this city. Alex. Richmond. That is correct. For 11 seasons now, what country music star sings the opening music theme for Sunday Night Football? Elizabeth. Carrie Underwood. That is correct. What is the name of the protective strip of skin at the base of your fingernail? Sebastian. Cuticle. Correct. This country contains the Surigao Strait that flows by Leyte. Name this archipelago that also contains the island of Luzon. Alex. Indonesia. That is incorrect. Menchville. Jarrett. The Philippines. That is correct. Yeah. Gamora, Drax the Destroyer, Groot, and Rocket make up which Marvel Cinematic Universe? Garrett. Jarrett, I'm sorry. Guardians of the Galaxy. That is correct. And that buzzer means one more toss-up round just ahead, and we'll double the point value for our questions. Stay tuned to see which of our teams is today's winner here on Battle of the Brains. Love Battle of the Brains? Ready for your high school team to play next season? Get in touch. Go to battleofthebrains.net to learn more. Welcome back to Battle of the Brains. Here are the scores as we head now into the final round here on Battle of the Brains. Our team from Monacan High School with 210 points. Our team from Menchville High School with 155 points. Now for this final toss-up round, the point score for a correct answer is doubled, and so is the penalty for an incorrect answer given before I've finished the question. There is no deduction for an incorrect answer to a completed question. All right, teams, good luck. This is our final round of questions. What was the musical instrument of choice of the Greek god Pan? Elizabeth. The flute, Pan Pipes flute. Yes, that is correct. Which university sports fans chant Roll Tide? Alex. Alabama. Correct. Which European capital is located at the junction of the Anstel River and the IJ, an arm of the lake called the Isselmer? Alex. Geneva, Switzerland. That is incorrect. Menchville? And that would be the capital city of Amsterdam in the Netherlands. Luxembourg is a European city surrounded by France, Belgium, and Germany. Spell Luxembourg. Jarrett. L-U-X-E-M-B-O-U-R-G. That is correct. Which one of the Muppets is a daredevil performance artist? Elizabeth. Gonzo the Great. Correct. He's an alien and loves all things chicken. Which sultan captured Jerusalem in 1187? And that would be Saladin. Now you may need your pencil and paper for this one. Oh God. What is the dot product of two orthogonal vectors? That would be zero. In biology, a three-dimensional spiral, two of which can be found intertwined in a molecule of DNA, has what five-letter name? Sebastian. Helix. Helix is correct. Who became president following the assassination of John F. Kennedy? Jarrett. Lyndon B. Johnson. Correct. The Maori are the indigenous native people of what southern Pacific? Jarrett. New Zealand. That is correct, island nation. As a warrior prince, Pyrrhus, king of ancient Epirus, lent his name to what sort of undesired military victories in his war with Rome? They were called Pyrrhic victories. Name the conservative politician who in 1979 became the first female prime minister of the United Kingdom. Pyrrhus. Margaret Thatcher. Correct. Light travels at the fastest speed in which of the following? Glass, water, vacuum, or hydrogen? Jarrett. Vacuum. Correct. This German general was much respected by his World War II counterparts in the early fighting in North Africa. Jarrett. Rummel. That is correct. The nickname, Desert Fox. 
Julius Caesar was assassinated on the Ides of March in 44 BC. The Ides of March falls on what date? Jared. March 14th. That is incorrect. Monikin? Alex? March 13th. It's actually March 15th. The U.S. Civil War battle of the crater took place in which Virginia city? Miranda. Petersburg. Correct. What French artist is most famous for his paintings portraying ballet dancers in rehearsal? Miranda. Edgar Degas. Correct. Depending on its location in the Earth's atmosphere, this gas can either be protective to humans or a pollutant. Alex. Oxygen. That is incorrect. Jared. Carbon dioxide. That is incorrect, or a pollutant that is a significant health risk. We were talking about ozone. It's oxygen. Which you, Oh, no. We'll go to the judges yeah. on that. Ozone, oxygen, you look that up, we'll continue. Which U.S. Supreme Court justice was known as the notorious RBG? Sebastian. Ruth Bader Ginsburg. That is correct. Even though it kind of shares the same name, it has nothing to do with the study of human beings. What store offers a one-of-a-kind shopping experience that they say makes women feel beautiful? Alex. Anthropology. Correct. And that buzzer is the end of our match. While our judges double check the final score, here's a reminder of how to stay connected with Battle of the Brains. Stay up to date with Battle of the Brains. Follow along as your favorite teams advance this season. Visit battleofthebrains.net to learn more. And follow the show on social at Battle of the Brains. As we continue round one in this current season of Battle of the Brains, join us next week as we welcome Fort Defiance High School versus Manchester High School. And now here's a look at the final score for today's match, determining which team will continue on in this season's competition. Ending the match today with the final score of 270 points, our team from Monacan High School, the judges talked it over and decided not to take the answer of oxygen for the question that had the answer of ozone. Their final score is 270 points and a great job today by Carter, Sophia, Alex, and Miranda. Thank you so much and best of luck as you continue in the school year. And our winners today with a final score of 335 points, our team from Menchville High School. Great job today by Sebastian, Isabel, Elizabeth, and Jarrett. Congratulations. Congratulations, and you will continue on in this year's competition. I'm Cheryl Miller. Thank you for watching and playing along here on Battle of the Brains, and we'll see you back here next week. Great match, teams. Game over. Thank you for watching Battle of the Brains, presented by Virginia 529. Goodbye.